Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning. It's so nice out. What's going on? He's rooting around his territory. All right, come on. Do you want a cookie? Let's get a cookie. I'm gonna go get a cookie and make some toast and get a treat. Hope oh, see. There's so much energy with his haircut like that. Yesterday, Steven gave Bubba's a haircut. And it's a little it's a little patchy. But we had to get the fur off him. He gets so hot, especially in the sun when he has all his fur. His fur just kinda like holds it in. But so I just had an Instacart order come in for my produce for the week. Um, I have already done all my other grocery shopping yesterday of like the things that I needed, but there was just a couple of produce things that I didn't get. So I'm going to show you. I've already prepped and cleaned everything. So I just thought I'd show you what I picked up. So iceberg lettuce. Um, I end up using this instead of like bread for sandwiches. I also like an iceberg. I know it's not the most popular of lettuces, but I think it's a great one. Uh, just picked up a couple bananas. I'm gonna let these ripe for banana bread. That's the only reason I bought them. We're not big like raw banana eaters. Um, some Italian parsley, then two crowns of broccoli and a bunch of kale that I'm gonna chop up for salad. Uh, some salad mix. I've been using this on all my sandwiches. You actually see one of them today. I'll make sure to film what I've been eating for lunch. A big thing of arugula, I go through arugula like nobody's business. I throw it in pasta. I, sorry, the refrigerator was open. I throw it like basically in everything. Eggs, all the things. Some sweet peppers to snack on. I just dip these in hummus. Some black grapes. Black grapes are my favorite. I feel like they're not as sweet as green and red. I really like them. Uh, they're already washed, destemmed. I'll just keep these in the fridge and grab a handful when I need a snack. Then I have strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries. I like to store my berries right on the shelf in my refrigerator because it reminds me to get through them quickly. If I stick them in a drawer, berries don't stay good long enough. So I like to just keep them right on top. I also cut off the lid. So I could just grab them and I don't rinse them until I'm going to eat them because I feel like once they get wet, they go even faster. A bunch of shallots, a bunch of cucumbers, which I've been using on my sandwiches, some uh, organic sourdough bread. I love their bread and also the slices aren't that big. I throw my scrambled eggs on it. I use it for sandwiches. Um, some mozzarella for some bruschetta this week. Um, and then a current favorite that I love this is now my second bottle, is the Truff Hot Sauce. It has some truffle in it. I love to put it on my popcorn, a baked potato. I put it on everything. It's so good. Um, so that is the gist of the produce for the week. This is the refrigerator for the week. So you'll see that I just put all of my produce right there so it's like easy to grab. Um, I know there's like rules about like which drawer, where it should be. This works for me. I grab it quickly, especially for the fruit and the berries that will go quickly. It reminds me to use them up and I'm just trying not to waste anything. And we've really not wasted anything. <clears throat> so, fridge is all set. I know I shared this in a recent vlog. I'm gonna leave these linked down below. I have been keeping these containers in my pantry because at night if I want a snack or during the day, I want to control the portion and I like to mix things up. So instead of like taking any package out of the pantry, whatever I can put in that little dish is what I snack on. So I really love it. If they were somewhere else, I wouldn't grab them because they'd be out of the way. But because they're in here, I just grab one after I'm done throwing in the dishwasher and then when I unload the dishwasher, it goes right back there. I'm really, really loving having that here. It's been really helpful. It is now noon. I worked out for an hour, my Lekfit on the rebounder. I'm going to tell you, 
Not only has my bad knee gotten so much stronger, it really helps with stress and anxiety. So I got on and was researching it and here rebounding has scientifically shown that A, it increases bone density and is really good for building up your joints. And also there are scientific studies about it um, relieving stress and anxiety, but I totally have felt that. I'm now three and a half weeks into LecFit maybe four weeks. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it this week in upcoming vlogs and maybe film a workout. Um, but I love it. It's so much fun and it's just so good for my joints and I feel like it's gonna build up my knee to get back into running because I miss running a lot but my knee's just not ready for it. Um, yeah, so that's been the morning so far. Steven uh, touched up Bubba's haircut from yesterday. It looks pretty rough. Um, it's a little uneven, but we still love him, and we just have to get the fur off of him because he gets so hot. And now I'm going to make some lunch, and I think I'm just going to do like a big veggie wrap, and yeah. All right, I thought we'd do a quick plan with me. This isn't going to be the official, but I think you'll get a couple lessons out of this. So I am on Sunday, and I want to start planning for Monday. There are a couple things that I want to take over with me. So I'm going to hit this lasso tool first because tomorrow I also want to work out. And I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to scroll to my Monday page. And I'm going to paste that in for Monday. Then I keep my hydrate every single week. So I'm going to take that with me. Copy that. Go over, I'm gonna paste that in. Now you'll see that those glasses are full, but you could just take your eraser and erase those off. So I'm gonna erase this, cause that's not it. Then I wanna go back and I want to lasso also this little workout because I do that every day. It's my little exercise session. And then my wake up routine actually remains the same too. So I'm gonna lasso that and get my wake up, shower, devotions, journal. Cause that will always stay the same. I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna paste and I'll wake up at 5.30. So that's already in there. So I'm gonna zoom in because I want my writing to be as neat as possible. And I'm gonna find this affirmation section. And I'm going to write my thoughts. Become my reality. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit and I like to thicken up my pen and just add just this little detail, I think it makes it really cute. I've also been really sticking with like a neutral palette. So I'm gonna continue with that and I'm gonna thicken this up just so it's a little bit bigger than my. All right, and then I'm gonna narrow, I'm gonna narrow that down. Mm, let's go with this color. And I want to narrow it to match my pen. And I'm going to put a little highlight over thoughts and reality. I just think that little highlight makes it punch a little bit more. So I actually have a meeting from 8 to 8.45. So this can't happen right here. So I'm going to move this down and maybe do it while I'm eating lunch because I have a team meeting at this time. So I have team meeting via Zoom. Now I'm gonna show you how to do some stickers. So I'm just gonna grab this lasso tool and I'm actually just gonna take a huge chunk of these. So I'm just gonna copy them and I'm gonna move them here. Okay, if you click off of them and then click the photo tool, you can then move them each individually. So I'm gonna move this one down here. 
It's like a little get it done. Then after dinner, I actually realize I'm going to prep planner for Tuesday. So let me go back to my highlight tool. Let's do this in this color. So, oh, I'm not in the highlighter. Oh, yes, I am. And I'm going to move this. I'm going to go back to my photo tool. I'm going to move this little plan sticker there. Perfect. So this is my planner page for tomorrow. I still didn't have an extra goal, but I think that can get filled in as the day goes. The only thing I haven't done is this page, and I'm actually so in love with this whole setup that I'm just going to literally circle it all, copy it, and paste it over because I really, really, really like it. Beautiful. My planner is set up for tomorrow. It looks beautiful. Yeah, that's it. So you can see this is so relaxing. It's so much fun. Like I, I'm going to go into detail with like transferring stickers and all that, but I just think this is like a fun, I just love it. Although now that I'm looking, I don't love this color in this scheme. So what's great is I'm gonna go in, see if you didn't have this as a possibility. So I'm going to just change this out. Let me go back to my highlighter and I'm gonna put meeting. Great. I'm not in love with that green color either. So I'm gonna erase that out too. Grab my pen and I'm gonna do meeting. Great. And then just for an example, say like that spacing seems off, you could literally drag that and move it over a little bit if you wanted to. And then this spacing feels a little off, done. Highlighter, let's go with just like a really dark green for this one. And I'm just gonna go meeting. Just think those other two colors were too bright. And now if I zoom out, perfect. So this is my planner for tomorrow. So I am in the process of making dinner for this evening because it's 4.30. I just took a little bit of kale and sauteed it. Um, because that's gonna be going in a white bean bait. It's like comfort food to the max um, while still being really healthy. And then to go side by side with the bean bake, um, I'm going to do these tortellini and just like a really light butter. And then, yeah, that's what we have going on. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients either. Um, all right, as soon as I prep the rest, I will fill you guys in. All right, this is truly the easiest recipe, but let me tell you, it is really, really good. Let me just grab, I want to, great, here we go. So I have two cans of white beans. Use any white beans you have, butter beans, cannellini, any white bean. You could even probably use chickpeas. I'm going to add, some leftover marinara sauce that I have. Any red sauce will do. Mm, just eyeballing it as usual. Now I'm just going to add some sauteed kale. Let's add a little bit of dried basil, some good Parmesan cheese. All right. Now I'm just going to dump this into my, this is my Brava square pan, because I'm gonna cook these in my Brava, but you would just do like 375. Let's smooth this all out. Some mozzarella. This is just part skim mozzarella. 
I'm gonna be pretty generous with it. I'm gonna hit that with a little crushed red pepper flake. And I'm just going to tear a couple of these basil leaf pieces. Oh, Steven hit the light. Um, I'm just gonna finely tear them. Oh, uh, we're all set. Oh, thank goodness. I He's got know. two bags of bacon strips. He just had one in the yard. He deserves one for that haircut. He needs to emotionally eat. All right, and now I'm just gonna throw this into my brava. Like I said, 375, you might wanna broil it, get it crispy on top, but my brava will do all the cooking for me. So, dinner is all done. We have the white bean bake, the tortellini, some baked baguette, and dinner is served. 9.45, and I'm watching the finale of American Idol, but I haven't watched it all season. But Katy Perry just did a really cute performance of her new song, Daisies, which I really, really love. It's a song about like, overcoming, don't letting the words of others impact you. And in fact, I've included it on a playlist that I've made for all of you on Spotify. I'm leaving it linked down below. Right here is the album art. And it is all like empowering songs to make you feel good about you. Really good to walk to, run to. I've been working out to it. I just, it's just some of my favorite empowering songs. And now I'm just holding, I already took my watch off, but I went and looked. And now I'm just like holding out till 10 o'clock because I really want to stay up and watch the Taylor Swift concert. You can't see that, but Cynthia Ree the Vo is currently singing and she is so stunningly beautiful. I love her. I actually got to see her on Broadway in the color purple. I was there for work and um, every time I go, I try to like see a Broadway show and I got to see her and Jennifer Hudson and the girl from Orange is the New Black. All three of them were in... Uh, the color purple when I saw it, and it was phenomenal. Okay, I'm gonna tough it out for this Taylor Swift concert. It was filmed in September, I believe, in Paris when her album released. So, looking forward to it. I'm trying to be invested in this finale, but I can't be because I don't know any of the people. Do any of you watch American Idol? Do people still watch it? Is it still popular? I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you still watch it. I just don't feel like I've heard anyone. Who on, who's one American Idol that's super famous? Kelly Clarkson, Carrie Underwood. I would say Jennifer Hudson, but she didn't win. Who's Fantasia? She's definitely released some really good music. Who else is there? But then on the other hand, I can't think of someone who's been on The Voice that's very famous. Name some artists who have won that have become really popular. Hmm. The thoughts. Steven is already in bed sleeping. Bubba's is up there sleeping with him too. So he has no interest in watching Taylor Swift with me. All right. I guess I'll just wrap up this vlog then and um, make sure that you just have like a really, really great week and that you're gentle with yourself and take time for yourself and take care of yourself. Times are still really weird. We're only in phase one of reopening, which means nothing has really changed. I know so many of you are already opened. I'd love to know like, are you going out? What are you doing? I did a poll on Instagram a couple days ago and 3,000 people voted in 80... 2% or 83%, it might have even been higher, but even like 88% uh, said they were staying home and staying put. But let me know what you're doing, what's open where you are. I'm in New York, so there's not a lot. But I will let you all go, make it a great week, control what you can, feel what you feel, and um, take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give to everyone until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.